All right, guys. So welcome back to more Game of Thrones, um, where we last left off. Um, I was given the like, like kind of like arm band thing, um, or I, I do not remember what it's called that you're supposed to give your sentinel. And um, our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again, just to be sure. Has anything gone missing? No, doesn't look that way. Since Eric was the only one to resort to thievery. But I'm still worried about our stores. We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. No, there must be something else we can do. Well, I hope we find it soon. We won't have much room to maneuver if we don't have the option of holding fast. I can speak to the huntsmen and trappers. Perhaps they can do more. My lord. Alright guys, so it looks like um, we talk to him first and then we can talk to a few other people um, before before we uh, make our decision. Um, I kind of want to explore all the options. I'm pretty sure I'll pick Duncan um, because he seems to have like a more solid like head on his shoulders. Um, he, does, he seems to be more rational than the other guy and I feel like I could trust him a lot more than... Um, that I, I cannot remember his name. Um, I'm really bad with names, though. I can remember people's names from the show. That's just because I've seen the episodes. But in this game, I have a hard time. But I I don't know if I can trust that guy. I feel like if stuff really went downhill, he would just try to impose his will, and he would not like. I don't know. I just I don't, I feel like he's not trustworthy. Um, I could be wrong, but that's just how I feel. Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do, showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. At first light. But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him, to help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. Of course I'll be gentle. I know you will. You're good-hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Aye, Sir Royland is the man you want. Why Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. Everyone needs to talk to me now. It's just, uh, everyone needs the Lord. Shit, in a sec. Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. You said you'd get angry sometimes. This would have been a good time to see it. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrod being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? 
Ethan, please. Tell me. Who should I name as my sentinel? It should definitely be Duncan Tuttle. He's dependable and smart, and everyone trusts his judgment. Sir Roiland is unpredictable and likely to make matters worse. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. Oh gosh, guys, I guess I'm going to talk to Sir Roiland, but I'll probably... I'll most likely pick Duncan because... I just don't trust this guy's loyalty. I didn't know dogs could hold swords. A word? Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. What's the state of our defenses? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot ready? No, but they will be. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet, up where they won't get much scrutiny. And put our meanest, nastiest looking brutes front and center. That'll show Ramsey we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power, especially when you're weakened. Thank you, Sir Roiland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And uh, I'll be sure to watch out for more deserters. After today, I suspect there'll be more to come. Are you holding a sword or a turkey leg? Yes, my lord. I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. I know this house, and everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins, or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrett to the war. He undermined your authority, and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be proud. Seeing you make good choices as a young lord. Your words are wise, Sir Roiland. Thank you, my lord. I will consider them as I make my choice. So, when will you declare your decision, my lord? Tonight, at the small council meeting. I'm liking Very Sir Roiland more and more as I talk to him. And, I don't know, I th maybe he would be a good choice. Um... I may actually give him the bracer. I'm not sure. I'm, I'll decide tonight, I guess. Um, I like him as a choice. He is... Duncan is a good guy, but I don't know if he... Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Oh no, he's gonna want me to. If I may ask, oh gosh. A favor for the role. Perhaps I can share my insight. What do you think of Sir Roiland? Do you trust him? He's a fine warrior, my lord, but he's nowhere near ready to serve a sentinel. I do not trust him. He's likely to lose his temper and get us all killed, and at the worst possible time. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. So many decisions, so little time. Oh man. I really like Duncan. I think Sir Royland would be a good a good pick. Um man, what the camera angle, please. Um I think he would be a good pick. Also, it's just I don't know. It's a, it's a tough decision. I need I need I just need to flip a coin. A number of people. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life, or the lives of those you love. Ransom or a robbery? We may pay him now. But what's to stop him from coming back again? Lord Ethan, the dangers of today outweigh the fears of tomorrow. I don't know about giving our wood up. I don't I don't I don't know about that. Um My lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel? I guess I'm gonna have to name the sentinel. Yes, um, Mister. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. I don't know how this is gonna go, guys. I don't really know how much this affects the story. Um 
it's hard to tell in these games how much it really will affect the story, certain decisions. Um, I'm guessing that this one may um, change it a little more than a normal, like just answer, um, because this one is actually pretty serious. You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Oh man, this is gonna be tough. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Oh man, Duncan or Royland? Ah, oh, the, the decision's so tough. I guess I should go with my instinct, guys. Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. I'm gonna have to get. I think this, you should go with your instinct. This is reckless. Lord Ethan has made his choice. See, now look, he's gonna get mad. That's why I did not choose him. You, my lord. Now, Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsay Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here. We've no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Royland. You named me Sentinel. Alright, it's just gonna be a big fight the whole time. Cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. Lord Ethan deserves to hear from all of us. Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. Sir Royland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. All right, here we go. Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf. But we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I'd really like to take up war, but... Mira's judgment. Mother, what do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. Oh, that's a terrible thing. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. That the war probably Why will not work. An offering for peace, my lord. Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! Oh gosh. Should we bargain or use diplomacy? I think... I don't want to give away our ironwood. Let's, let's use diplomacy. My favors a certain approach and I agree. I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance. And try to reach a reasonable agreement. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. It might be your fingers I'll be cutting off. Force here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then. Let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord I like that idea.
I will meet I'll make him again. wait at the gate. Very good, my lord. I shall prepare the men. Men? We hardly have any. It's a foolish plan. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me, my lord, but you are not ready to be lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Not another word. Your father would not approve, my lord. Oh, he's going to backtalk me. Let me tell you something, buddy. Let me tell you something. Apologies, my son. I had expected better of him. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow at the gate. And we will not offer our ironwood. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. Well, guys, that was very interesting to say the least. My lord, you have named your sentinel, but you still seem conflicted. And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if you want to help this house. Forgive me. There will always be those who question your leadership. Which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Yes, I hear what you're saying. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities, but... Asher is dangerous and unpredictable. His presence could help or hurt. Having another sword at your side always helps, especially now. I mean, I think we should go get him. I don't know. It seems like he would try to take my to place, but... Best for this family. I guess he's family lost needs. his throne, so it doesn't matter anyway. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Fine. Let's send him. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Because, I mean, he really didn't do anything too bad. He was just defending his brother. Thank I think you, that's actually a good thing. So, I'm glad you will let me do I think we should bring him back. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. 